My name is Kyle Freilich. I'm the Director of Facility Operations here at Vic Complete Care in Austin, Texas. I've been in healthcare at some capacity for the last over 25 years, so it, it's, it's uh, yeah, I would say I have a pretty good idea of what should be an emergency, I would think. I've always been very active. Uh, I've played college sports. Um, yeah, I have six kids and five of which are boys, so we're constantly running around doing things active. I started feeling a little light heartburn coming on. Um, the meeting wrapped up, and I, I figured I'd go uh, grab some Tums and a glass of water, and see if I could make myself feel a little bit better. The pain started getting a little bit worse. To me, I even thought, why don't I just wait and I'll be seen out at Lakeway and then I'm, I'm one step closer to home. Um, it, unfortunately, the pain got so bad, and it, was, it became so unbearable that, that I, I, I went through the facility, went through our regular process, I, you know, lay out my complaint. Uh, the, the nurse took my complaint, got me into a room, started the EKG, discovered I was actually having a heart attack at that time. I had no idea. IVs were, were set, I was given medications, you know, they were doing everything that they needed to do to try to make me comfortable, um, for one, to, to, to at least help the, my overall situation and the pain that I was experiencing. My initial thought was, okay, this is now, this is now something big. Anytime that you all of a sudden realize it's, it's not going well, uh, you start thinking about your family, you, you, uh, um, you know, you, you think about you know, all the, all the little things that, that, um, that unfortunately get put by the side but are the most important things in life, really. Um, and so, um, um, during that time, I actually coded, uh, so I, I flatlined. And they were, you know, obviously doing CPR. They had the AED. Uh, they went ahead and shocked me with the defibrillator. Um, you know, all of those things that, that they needed to do, they were full team, full go. Um, I was gone for about almost three minutes. Um, ultimately, I, I woke up and, and, you know, I saw the disarray of the room and realized that, uh oh, something must have really gone wrong because it wasn't like that when I faded out. Um, you know, having, having a staff that you're close to is, is great as well. Everybody is a patient, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter, you know, if you're, you know, a, a legislator or a, or, a, or a businessman or, you know, the, the guy, you know, working at the, at the filling station next door. If you think you're having an emergency, you, you need to make sure that you're getting to the right place. Make sure that you're getting checked out by a professional that knows what they're doing, because you never know how bad it really might be. It goes far beyond, you know, the politics, insurance, any of the above. If you feel like you're having an emergency, it's your choice to figure out where you need to be.